He said, I stand at the door knocking. And then he says, if any man hears not my knock, but my voice. Right? All right? How can his knock become his voice? Because yes yes yeah yeah because thousands of you here you are waiting for his voice because you can't hear his voice in the sound in the knocking sit down let me show you something let me show you something this is how prophets this is how sometimes we hear the voice of god in your presence and you can't grasp it you can't even hear it especially when he breaks his voice down to the level of sound and then in the knocking of the door go 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 four times someone can come out with the four statements and he says when he was knocking this is what i had i heard him say it's a lifestyle i'm trying to help some of you people here because the voice that you're waiting for may never come Can you be able to hear the knock and hear his voice? Some of us, when we see closed the doors, it's a statement from God. When we see an open door, it's a statement from God. God speaks through doors. God speaks through doors. God speaks through doors. God speaks through doors. Something that you know has never happened, brand new tires. You have a flat tire. You're rushing somewhere. You've prepared yourself, ready to go. You get into your car, the tire is flat. You take the spare wheel, put it there, it gets flat. And you keep fighting because you want to go. You cannot hear the voice of God in the knocking. If God can give you only two things, the door and the sound, call, call, call. Can you hear his voice in the knock? Why am I being resisted in this area like this? Is it God or it is the devil? You have to interpret that. Can't you see the guy, the man that you keep forcing and you keep calling and you keep texting and he's not responding? Can't you hear the knock? That the knock is the voice of God. If your relationship at this stage is already boring, if he knocks at the door, ca, 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 can you decode that? Can you attach words? the sound if I stand at the door and knock whoever shall hear my voice his knock becomes his voice ninety nine percent 
of people that are born again, when they get into wrong relationships, they know how it is going to end even before they start. They know, but they have a way of silencing the voice of the Spirit. Because when you want something, you do everything to protect it. Because you've been waiting for this girl for too long and once you, you get her, nothing can stop you from, from, from loving her. Even God himself cannot. <laughs> but he will give you a foretest. He, the Holy Spirit, will allow you to have an experience that you will have in the next five years in marriage. You can have it today. But you do not pay attention because to you, you don't think it is the voice of God because it is simply a call, call, call. It's a knock. When he is knocking, he is saying, Are you not about to walk into your most dangerous part of life? Getting involved with somebody who cannot hear the knock of Jesus. If, if God struggles, if God finds it hard to have access into the heart of that man, what anointing do you carry? What kind of grace do you have? If the man cannot be convinced by his own creator, if everything that God knows to do he has done it but still he can't get his 10% how about the money for your hair how about the money for your dress because you are not going to be the first girl to knock the same door Jesus was once there look at the footsteps Jesus was once there he tried to knock and the guy never opened the door. And you think he will open for you. What is better for you right now if you're looking for somebody, look for someone that you see under the control of Jesus. Yes. Anyone that you can see who allows God to control him. I stand at the door and I'm knocking. If you're able to hear my voice and you come and you open the door, I will come in and I'll eat with you. We will eat together. Let me in, then I'll eat with you. Let me in and I'll eat with you. I want to eat with you. Is that what he's saying? <laughs> I stand at the door and knock. Mm -hmm. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him mm -hmm. and will sup with him. Ukandipa <laughs> And he with me. But when I come in, I will feed you on your stuff. This is why when God comes into your life, he is so lenient, he is so patient, he seems to be believing even things that are very wrong, your beliefs, your beliefs, he doesn't challenge them on the word go, he comes in, he moves slowly with you at your level of unbelief. He doesn't leave you because you are doubting him. He doesn't leave you because you have got little faith. He comes in and he operates at your level. I will eat with you. I will come in as God and act like you and talk like you and behave and bless you like at your level. 
But when we have exhausted you, then you will join me. Then you eat the food that is at my level. There comes a moment when you have to graduate. How shall reduce them to your level of understanding and operation? What exhausted means it's a good and then you begin to sup with him now. I know the right is go away touch got a pizza in Indian grocer rang and I have got the life forevermore. Be seated. Be seated. So the vision was written on the stones. And then the prophet was told that wait for it. Encouraged by God to wait for the fulfillment of the vision. If it tarries, this vision of not dying, if it tarries, wait. Can you imagine? The vision is about not dying. And he's being told by God not to die until he sees the manifestation of the vision. Wait for it. Because it is for an appointed time. But at the end, it shall speak. He talks about what was once a vision. And at some point, the vision will have an ability to speak. A vision. That which was once a vision can now speak. So God is telling the, uh, the, the prophet that if you are not going to be patient and then you die before the fulfillment of this vision that I've given you, still at the end, he's talking about the end, at the end, not just at the end of the vision. No, no, no. But this vision deals with the end of mankind. When people get to the time of their death, that's the time when the vision will speak. No, you didn't, you didn't get it. Yeah, yeah you, you didn't get it. <laughs> you didn't get it. It's not a vision, though it is given to you today. How can I explain this? It's a vision given to you whilst you are alive. But it doesn't speak now. It speaks at the end of life. Whilst you are alive, the vision of life forever. You cannot say that you are already experiencing it. But it's a vision that speaks at the end of that life. Then the vision takes over. And the rest of your life become a manifestation of the vision. Where you live up to 120 years and you know that you should have died at 60. So the vision spoke at the end of your life, at 60, and then the vision kicks in. <laughs>